bear them up forever. Psalm, chapter 28, verse 9. God's people need lifting up. They are very heavy by nature. They have no wings, or if they do, they are like the dove of old that lay among the pots, and they need divine grace to make them mount on wings covered with silver, and with feathers of yellow gold. By nature, sparks fly upward, but the sinful souls of men fall downward. O Lord, lift them up forever. David himself said, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. And in the text here, he feels the necessity that other men's souls should be lifted up as well as his own. When you ask for this blessing for yourself, do not forget to seek it for others also. There are three ways in which God's people need to be lifted up. Firstly, they need to be elevated in character. Lift them up, O Lord, do not suffer your people to be like the world's people. The world lies in the wicked one, lift them out of it. The world's people are looking after silver and gold, seeking their own pleasures and the gratification of their lusts. But Lord, lift your people up above all this, keep them from being muckrakers, as John Bunyan calls the man who was always scraping after gold. Set their hearts upon their risen Lord and their heavenly heritage. Moreover, believers need to prosper in conflict. In the battle, if they seem to fall, O Lord, be pleased to give them the victory. If the foot of the foe be upon their necks for a moment, help them to grasp the sword of the Spirit, and eventually to win the battle. Lord, lift up your children's spirits in the day of conflict. Do not let them sit in the dust, mourning forever. Do not let them suffer by the adversary who vex them and make them fret. But if they have been persecuted, like Hannah, let them sing of the mercy of a delivering God. Lastly, we may also ask our Lord to lift them up at the end. Lift them up by taking them home, lift their bodies from the tomb, and raise their souls to your eternal kingdom in glory. Amen.